honest, it was the more realistic works that I liked, but I later drew inspiration more from the Impressionists, particularly Monet and Renoir. I focused on oil painting at first because I just love how versatile it is and all the different ways you can apply the paint. When I was 23, I moved to Europe for a couple of years. My artist friend and I started out in Florence for three months. We were really fortunate that our next door neighbour's brother was a master art restorer. He agreed to give us private lessons in old masters oil painting techniques. Sadly, I gave up art for a long time after that though. I focused on work and study instead. It wasn't until I was 34 when I moved to Sydney that I realised there was nothing else I wanted to do. So I put aside all my fears and doubts and decided to give it a go. I moved on from oil painting and started doing works with markers and pencil on paper. This then led to me finally discovering my style of art. The reason I've been doing scenes of Japan is because I've always had a fascination for Japan and I particularly like their woodblock art style. I also really like Studio Ghibli animation so I decided to try doing some artworks in that style which is fairly sort of flat areas of colour with fine black outlines. So I used that technique to create my series A Year in Japan. At first they were a bit more like that but now they've moved on to being a bit more realistic. So you can see the difference between my early works in the series and my current series, A Night in Japan, which is much more realistic. That series is for a solo exhibition early next year. What I love about being an artist, aside from creating works that you can feel proud of, I have the freedom to work from anywhere in the world. So I'm hoping maybe next year I might even go and live somewhere like Tokyo and actually produce my next series from there. I've been with Blue Thumb for a few years now and they've given me some amazing opportunities such as creating a piece for their Created With Care uh, charity auction. And also, I entered the Blue Thumb Art Prize. I was really surprised that I um, came in the top 20 finalists for the Art Prize with my piece Passing by Cherry Blossoms. Since then, my sales have definitely gone up through Blue Thumb and I've also gained a lot of confidence in my work as well as more confidence in my ability to actually make a career.